Hello and welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Toucan Plays and welcome to another Toucan's Toy Review. And today we're going to be looking at and unboxing the Spin Master Monster Jam Series 26. It's a little bit out of an older series. I wasn't able to complete the whole series when it came out. It's got uh, Wolf's Head there, the uh, Gravedigger's 25th Anniversary. Uh, zombie yellow we've got megalodon and we've got big kahuna and the ones that i wasn't able to find was alien invasion el toro loco uh, max d and nightmare so there's four that are missing from this set and that's why i haven't made a video up until now but you know like i said last week i'm trying to kind of clear out my backlog of toys that i wanted to unbox and so i'm, I'm getting to it now I don't like doing a, a video unless I've got the whole collection, but I'm also not willing to pay scalper fees um, to get them off of eBay. So I'm left with having an incomplete collection. All right, the first one we're gonna open up though is Wolf's Head. Now, when I picked it up, it did have this uh, crack in the plastic already. I'm hoping that uh, the truck itself is not damaged at all, just the, the packaging. Let's get into unboxing, here we go. Rip it open. <laughs> All right. And so series 26 actually was back when they still had the little uh, regalia, the little plastic uh, parts or pieces whoosh, that were, um, I don't know, what do you call them? Props, I guess. Yeah, there we go. So I've said many times before that I am fairly new to Monster Jam. And so Wolf's Head is one of those trucks that I never actually got to see. Uh, either in, uh, in person or on, you know, any kind of events on TV. So I don't really know Wolf's Head all that well, but I do know that this uh, toy looks pretty darn cool. Wolf's Head logos on the back and on the top. You got the uh, the red chassis and black roll cage along with the red and black on the tires and the rims. Uh, and then the red and black beady eyes, man, it looks so cool. I love the style of this truck. I know Wolf's Head is no longer with Monster Jam. They've moved on to an independent uh, circuit. That's okay, because, yeah, like I said, it's still a cool truck. I'm glad we were able to get the toys when they were out. All right, next up, we're going to move on to Big Kahuna. Now, a few weeks ago, I was talking about how I already had Big Kahuna, and I didn't pick it up when I saw it at Walmart. And I'm regretting that. I'm kicking myself in the butt because the big kahunas I saw at that Walmart were from series 20 and this is series 26. This is the, the big kahuna I was thinking that I already had at home. But like I said, this is from series 26 and the ones that I saw at Walmart were from series 20. I'm sure they're long gone by now. They're $25, the ones from series 20 on, on Amazon right now. So gosh, I'm so disappointed. Anyway, Big Kahuna's got that cool logo on the front, on the hood rather, and it's got that rusty look. Really, really cool. Big Kahuna logo on the side. Again, more rusty. Got that door handle there. With the Tiki Man there. The surfboards in the back. I love it. Got that gray chassis, gray roll cage, gray rims on the tire. It all works really, really well together along with the gray and the grill in the front. Yeah, Big Kahuna. That one's one of my favorites. I've got a few videos from Big Kahuna. And here is the little ramp that it comes with. Big Kahuna! <laughs> All right, from the uh, surfers to under the sea with Megalodon. Let's get him open. All right, Megalodon came with a crush car. And yeah, nice. We've got the, these kind of a ash color. It's not white, it's more of kind of a, a light gray, really light gray. That's for the roll cage and for the tires. And then the rims are black and the chassis is black. And it, I really, really like the contrast between kind of that ashy white in the tires and the black in the rims. And, and same with the roll cage and the chassis. Really, really nice. Otherwise, it's just a standard Megalodon body, but uh, the color combination with the tires and the roll cage and the chassis it just works, man. It just works. <laughs> just like Lucas Oil. It just works. <laughs> I don't know what, how many Megalodons I've got at this point. A lot. Not as many as I do at Gravediggers, but, uh, you know, I keep collecting the Megalodons because I like them. And especially when they have really cool color combinations like this one. That's the whole point of collecting, right? Get the cool color combinations. And I really like the Crush Car that's that ashy white color, too. It's pretty cool. 
And I just realized too, when I was looking at this, the, the details on this crush car are pretty neat. Like the broken glass and the, the, uh, the axles that are sticking out. Very nice. All right, next up we've got Yellow Zombie, otherwise known as the Girl Zombie. Let's get it open. Now, Girl Zombie came with a yellow crush car. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> now, it's a Girl Zombie because I guess it's got a ponytail and it's got uh, uh, the uh, mascara around the eyes. And it's kind of pinkish. Uh, yeah, female Zombie. Uh, I, I, like, I like this one a lot. Um, not my favorite of the zombies, though. <laughs> The, uh, the chassis is, is black. I'm sorry, the chassis is gray. The roll cage is black. Same with the tires and the rims, gray and black. And of course, I really like how you've got the regular zombie arm in the mouth of the female. She's a man eater. That's what she is. She's a total man eater. <laughs> uh, it, overall, it's a good zombie concept. Got that white BKT printing on the tires. Uh, it's just not my favorite. Just not my favorite about all of them. I think. I think regular zombie or burn victim zombie are probably my favorite. Oh, no, the hillbilly zombie is my favorite for sure. Just not my favorite. I don't like the yellow. Eh. All right, moving on. Now, this one is one of my favorites. It comes with a, a green crush car. That would be Gravedigger 25th anniversary with the chrome. Oh, man, this is so cool. I love this particular Gravedigger. Got the, uh, the purple beadlocks, gray rims, gray chassis, green roll cage. And I think this is one of those super heavy duty metals where the chassis is actually made out of like heavy metal. I don't know. It was it felt a little bit more heavy than the rest of the, the trucks in the series. And I got that Grave Digger 25th anniversary on the top since 1982. And then Grave Digger on the sides, standard date Grave Digger art on the sides and on the front. But of course, it's got that chrome, so it looks just super, super sharp. I love it. And there's that green crush car. There's Grave Digger 25. Nice. So here's all the trucks with their regalia, with their props. I do miss the props. I think that's one thing that uh, opening these up after, you know, after a year or so of collecting has taught me is that, yeah, the props are kind of neat. They're, they're cheap and they're chintzy, I get it. But uh, yeah, I miss them. I, I wish they'd still have them or at least have an option to buy them. I guess that's just a casualty of inflation that we've had to deal with is is uh, not having any regalia, any kind of uh, props in with our, our toys. But anyway, that is series 26 of the singles, at least the four or five that I've got. Uh, I'm missing four more. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be sure to check out the video that you see on your screen right now. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side later.